Hi guys. So I'm back home and there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. Um, it was an amazing afternoon. I It went better than I ever imagined it would go. Um, met Bob, got to talk to Bob. I mean, several times. He's the nicest guy. I mean, he looks exactly, exactly like he does on TV. You know, some famous people, sometimes you meet them and you're like, oh, they look kind of different. They look taller, they look shorter in person, whatever. Bob looks exactly the same. He acts exactly the same. Um, Bob's awesome. So, but what I wanted to talk about, I had a situation occur. Um, I was prepared going to this filming. I brought my um, before fat picture with me. I should have showed it to you. Anyway, I brought my before fat picture with me and I brought a pair of jeans that I used to wear that are just, I mean, big, like I can fit into one leg. I think I did that in one of my videos. So I brought those with me um, to show because the girl who had tried to get me on season seven was there and I wanted, you know, I was excited to meet her in person. I'd only talked to her on the phone and emails and um, so I got to meet her and she immediately knew how I was, like remembered my last name. It was really cool. So anyway, we all had these bracelets and she gave me this green dot on my bracelet, which basically was like a VIP pass. Like it means that she wanted me to talk to the press to interview and whatnot because I had lost all this weight and I was inspired by the show to lose weight and they wanted to follow up on my story. So I got really excited. Um, she was really excited. I had my picture in my pants and they got this whole camera crew out there and they're talking to me asking me all these questions and um they asked me the one question that i wasn't sure how i was going to answer and i'm sure you guys know what that question is um you know first he wanted to know how much weight i'd lost and um how long it took me to get it off and uh, was I, you know, was it the show that inspired me? Did I apply for the show? I answered all those questions. And then he says, and was it, how'd you do it? Was it pills? Was it a diet? Was it surgery? I was hoping that he would not specifically ask me if it was surgery. And you guys, I, I froze up and I feel so guilty about this, but I lied on camera the camera was in my face there's this whole crew standing there there is a lineup of people that are like three and four hundred pounds and they're all looking at me like wow she has lost 130 pounds how did you do it I mean they're like hanging on my every breath and I couldn't stand there and tell them that I had weight loss surgery and I feel so terrible because the surgery has given me my life back. It gave me everything that I have now. And if I hadn't had it, I wouldn't have lost the weight. And I feel like I just totally sold myself out and I lied, but I can't take it back now. I mean, it's on camera. They've got my phone number. They're going to call me back to, fu to you know, follow up. Uh, I'm all over the shoot. I mean, I was like, th their, their physical challenge for this episode was to run a mile. The three, um, potential contestants had to race against each other, run a mile, everybody else, all the other Portlanders were running with them, and I was there when the first girl crossed the finish line, and I was patting her on the back, and I told her that, you know what, you're number one, you go, this is your moment, and she took off running across the line. I'm going to be all over that camera, all over that show, and I can't tell you how many people ask me how I lost my weight. And I, did, I could not look those people in the eye and tell them I had surgery because I felt like to say that to them would be reinforcing the feelings that they have that they can't do it. And I know how that feels. And not everyone can afford surgery. Not everyone's insurance will cover it. Or not everyone has generous parents with big bank accounts that can pay for them to go out of country to get surgery. And I didn't want to discourage these people. Does that make me bad? I lied. The camera was in my face and in the moment, I just didn't feel like I could say that. And now I'm totally ashamed of myself for not telling the truth. Um, 
I made two friends while I was in line. One of them had lost 105 pounds doing Weight Watchers, and she's a runner. And then the other one, um, I think she was just naturally thin. She only had ever lost like 15 pounds in her life. Um, but they all wanted my Facebook, you know, link after we were getting ready to leave. And then it occurred to me that, oh my God, these people are going to find me on Facebook and they are going to know that I had surgery. And I lied to them the whole time. Um, why did I do that? I don't understand why I feel so ashamed that I had surgery, that I needed surgery. Um, so at the same time, it was an amazing day and I got enough inspiration and motivation stored up now to last me for years. I mean, it was amazing to, to see that many people who were there to support, to get their own motivation. Um, I ran the mile without stopping. I don't think I've ever done that. I think even in middle school when they made you run the mile in PE and everybody hated it. I remember always like faking sick or something so I could get out of running the mile. But the times I did run it, I didn't run it like the whole time. I ran every step of that mile and I could have run more. I could have run faster. Um, I guess I'm still figuring out what my body's capable of. Anyway, that's all for now. I didn't do a video update last week um, because I posted a bunch of videos um, updating on my cap my pouch five day pouch test. So, but um, I did lose three point three pounds last week. So that was good. That's a bigger weight loss than I've had in a really long time. And this week is probably going to be another good weight loss because I have really been really really busy. I've built like a whole chicken coop in my backyard yesterday. Um, had a super busy day cleaning my house. I'm totally coming down with something. I'm getting sick. I don't know what it is. Like the last couple days it gets towards the evening and I'm totally completely run down. I'm hoping it's not like a vitamin deficiency issue. Um, I don't think it is because I just had my levels checked like maybe two months ago and everything was great. So I don't think I could go downhill that fast. And I've still been taking my vitamins. So I think I'm just getting sick. And I know probably getting up at 4.30 a.m. and standing out in the rain and freezing wind and cold for three hours didn't help today. Um, but it was worth it because I got to meet Bob. Anyway, so you all are going to have to watch the season opener for Biggest Loser Season 10 because I will be in it and I'm wearing this hat. So you can totally spot me um, somewhere in the background. Running, talking crying. I was a big old crybaby. Um, very emotional today. It was a very, whew, just thinking about it, it's coming to cry. It was a very emotional day. It was like my journey has now come full circle because this is where I started with this whole thing was applying to be on The Biggest Loser and admitting to myself and to my family that I needed help and that I couldn't do it. And I didn't get on the show, obviously, but it was the catalyst that got me, got the ball rolling and made the surgery happen for me. So I will keep you updated on what happens with the whole reporter interview thing. They call me back and whatnot. So anyway, that's it for now. I have to go get ready. It's the season finale of Grey's Anatomy tonight. My sister's coming over. We're going to make sushi. So I got to clean my house and prep for that. Okay, guys. Talk to you later. Make healthy choices. Bye.